Broken Rise of Glitches. You know what's funny? At the time of this recording, apparently this game is getting patched. Yeah. I still haven't gotten the patch because, quite frankly, no, no Knuckles Infinity Jump, no buy. Like, seriously. <laughs> the, 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 Knuckles Infinity ju- the Knuckles Infinity Jump is one of the best things about the game. Like, uh, so, seriously. So, yes, audience, we apologize if our attitudes here may seem a bit different from the next few parts. But even then, like, okay, so they fixed a few good bug fixes, uh, the, the few bug fixes and some lightning lighting um, fixes. But let's face it, the game is that it takes more than a band-aid to fix this. Excellent. The problem, the problem is that the glitches were just a part of the of the whole problem. Actually, Pedro, apparently the patch is a is like over a gigabyte large. So apparently people are speculating. No, 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 no. But there's a reason. No, but there's a good reason why it's like the the only reason the patch is a one gigabyte in size is because of the way the game is programmed. I know, I know, I know. And even and even and and even because they needed to add the you know the wall, the actual 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 physics. Guys, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We have a Me? guest. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a guest. Sony Hello. from SSB. Please I'll introduce yourself, good sir. I'm Sony from the Sonic Stadium message boards, and I just like Sonic. And I'm and actually kind of okay with Sonic Boom Rise of Lair. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Now it all the way. And you and Sonic take the I guess like, I, I like first of, like it's stuff like this that makes me love the, round, the game knuckles. a bit. The story is a pretty good part. I will admit, the story is better than some of the more lately Sonic stories, and it's yeah, I'll okay. Give, I'll give it this. Hey! So, Sonic Lost World wasn't that bad. It has the oh, I agree, I agree. In fact, I love Sonic Cross World. In, in the... Sonic Cross World? <laughs> Sonic in Lost opinion, World. <laughs> in my opinion, it has the best story since uh, ever since Pantak and Graf took over so but that's not saying much I, I still find the story really I mean th- there's no significant character uh, pretty much the same thing Johnny said in his review there's no significant character development there's no world building of any kind it's just go get the crystal okay we're done go get more crystals like it's just wow. it's just so shallow place? stuff happens I'll, it's just I'll stuff I'll bring happens. this up in a later part but nowhere? um because Based I on the little awesome. we know of Lyric's backstory, it could have actually been extremely right interesting here. if they put in just a little bit hey, more of it. Crystal. The big yeah. idea, uh, my, my, big, uh, my, my big problem. I, I even said this. I even said this in the top in the topic. My big problem with Lyric's story is that we're not shown the backstory. We're literally told the backstory for, for one of his monologues. Pardon yeah, us, yeah, yeah. pardon us, Sony. Pardon us, Sony. We have different accents. Always a fight. Anyway, yeah. no problem. Underwater, and, treasure. underwater treasure, sure. Even though you're not clearly underwater, oh, man, man, whatever. All right, so, you, so all right, so, 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 so what's your take on the music of this game, Sonny? Um, uh, I take it as a yes. I think he doesn't like it. <laughs> huh? Utter silence. Maybe he doesn't know what to feel about it. It's an abstract kind of feel. Indeed. So we're anyway, trying to let's let's from... So guess what? We're beating more mooks! Yeah. Hooray! Well, that's totally... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get old, get right? Wasn't so bad. Right? <laughs> Alright, so, all right, Sony, could you please try to answer my question? Sure, knock, knock away. Blast um, away. Um, what do you think? What is what is your opinion on the music of this game, nice the soundtrack? Game, okay, out. okay, I'll admit that yes, it's it's pretty generic, but I, I think it actually fits the atmosphere of like the, of an adventure kind of game. I can see and, like, where you're coming and, from. And, and, and also like, I, I actually kind of like the so box scenes for Shadow and Metal Sonic. Oh, mm-hmm. me too. My, my, the, what my my big problem, uh, uh, you can tell that Richard Jock was told by Big Red Button to try to make a Naughty Dog soundtrack, and it, it's nowhere near as good as the actual Naughty Dog soundtracks. You know, I uh, never the same way I about never... the soundtrack as I do about the um, Legend really? of Spyro series soundtrack. I never really got the feeling of like a Sony platformer game in general, Let's though maybe no, the I, more here. atmospheric kind of music. This game in general, Joe, but it, 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 it draws a lot from Sony's platform. Oh, I get I mean, that. Come on, just... Oh, I get that. But I'm saying it's like, well, the music doesn't really give me the sense of 
Sony. I mean, like, well, I don't know. Maybe it's because my Sony experiences were mainly the stuff by Crash Bandicoot. And I Spock. don't Spock. believe that. Hey, I'm Sony. Trust me, like, see, like see, a lot of a lot of the soundtrack, like the, the, the overall style in, in, of the soundtrack is very similar to the Uncharted soundtrack. Oh, but, I don't uh, believe the Spyro reboots had anything to do with Sony at that point. No, not, not, no, not entirely, because uh, not, much like with Crash, uh, Spyro was a property of Let's Universal. Uh, yeah. Sony was a second publisher of it, so by the time, uh, the by the time of the fourth game, <laughs> which which was the travesty for the crew of Enter the Dragonfly, the publisher was already different, I think. Yeah. yeah. I guess what I'm saying, Pedro, is that I guess... I think it would probably be more fitting to say that this reminds you of Uncharted as opposed to say a, pl a Sony platformer in general. No, but I think we, I think this is a combination of Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. I'm positive yeah. on this. It is, it is, it is. I mean, which of course, it, it, which makes sense since the, these are former Naughty Dog and Here's former Insomniac. The problem I, is, but in Ratchet and Clank, at least you have a fuck ton of weapons to use in any combination you want. Here, just like, two attacks. Okay, okay, guys, I get that the what atmosphere. About them Okay, guys, I get that the atmosphere of the game reminds you of Sony. I'm just saying the music doesn't really remind me of the Sony Well, it does to me. Well, 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 Pedro may be right for the Uncharted because I feel that the Uncharted soundtrack is extremely boring, just like the game itself. Oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. Oh, I agree, too. I mean, that that's why I say it would probably be more fitting to say that this match is Uncharted as opposed to Sony in general. Because unlike Uncharted, I can actually remember the music from Jack and Daxter. I can and Sonic is wearing part. a scarf. I can re the, the soundtracks for Uncharted 1 and 2 are good, but they're not very memorable. But Uncharted 3 well, aside from uh, the main is the one. Theme, uh, aside from the main theme of Uncharted itself, which is the, the thing that everybody true, remembers, true, true, I don't true. remember any single other track. Uncharted 3, however, was a big step up in terms of music. Yeah. Yeah. If, anything, any, if anything, for Uncharted 4, they're getting a new composer, Henry Jackman, who did some awesome job uh, for Disney movies recently. It's like Uncharted so, is cool, but, well, it definitely has quite a few flaws. In Only many regards for me. <laughs> Again, with the well, but you're talking about Uncharted One. Then. Trust me, those well, are not. Well, I'm also talking about Uncharted Two now that I've actually gotten a chance to play it over at my cousin's. Anyway, um, anyway we're not here to talk about yeah. Uncharted itself. That's for another day. Yeah, that's right. What are we even doing talking about Uncharted? Is this game so well, bad that we actually went off topic? Well, this is, well, Naughty Dog. It's not, not not so much because again, Naughty Dog, the ex developer. So okay, okay, okay. Then I guess to get back on topic, <laughs> my thoughts so are in North Chemical Plant Zone. Uh, for what reason? Yeah, uh, I don't get a chemical plant feel, but yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing. We're here to do exactly the exact same thing we've been doing throughout this entire game: getting a crystal, getting a mock-up. Um, the entire plot of this game is a giant fetch quest. Uh, sometimes I wonder what Gwibs would say if he were here. Uh, bloody, bloody hell, get me out! Uh, <laughs> I don't know, something about banhammers? And Shiro is BRB'd. Uh, she's part of the Grand Bottom. <laughs> Imagine that if she were a BRB sleeper agent. Oh my god. Plot twist! Hmm. What a twist! Huh, oh that's god. a pretty good M. Night Shyamalan impersonation. It is. Uh, so yeah, once again using Amy because, because I mean, you need know, two, aren't I? Once again, I'm using uh, Amy as much as I can because Amy is the most fun to play as. She really and, gives you an... she, and mainly because she has a triple drop. And now, ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't on me. The, that was a 2D, 3D, that, that was a 2.5D perspective fail, where the game, uh, it, like, basically, whenever I'm in one of the <laughs> sections, I'm supposed to be locked into a 2D plane. But for some reason, the 2D plane went away. Like, it happened to, to Kobani Man uh, 2. Kobani Man 456. It happened to him too, and he, uh, when he actually, you know, uh, it happened in a time when he actually had to go through the walls because of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. It's like, I can see them actually trying to use that as an excuse if they were, you know, those sort of people. They actually try to excuse it by saying, oh, we're paying no much to the Crash Bandicoot classics. For my last. 
I got this one. The worst excuse I've ever heard is uh. What the hell was that scream? The, the worst excuses I've ever heard the developer give for poor bad, uh, poor game development was the the developers of Superman 64 trying to justify that the, the horrible. Oh yeah, Kryptonite is... box. Yeah. Well, actually, I think they may be beat by oh, Ubi's. I, I remember that excuse. Yeah, yeah I, Johnny said that. Some coming Johnny and said that, right? Yeah. yeah. I think that they may have been beat by Ubisoft now. Apparently Ubisoft gave a reason for why they don't have their playable female characters. Apparently it's because women are too hard to program. No, I'm not kidding. That's pretty much what they that said. That is BS right there. That is bull. No, it's not BS. We're oh, very tr trust me, trust me, Joba. Practically all the 2014 is filled with Ubisoft bullshit claims. Like, for <laughs> yeah. example, like, for, for example, remember, uh, when they have the Tetris incident <laughs> on the PS4 uh, right in December... <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. yes! What, when <laughs> that happened... I'm sorry, I can't help, was, can't help but laugh whenever no, I think it, about the Ubisoft glitch, and Tetris. The glitch there was that uh, the, if you were connected to the internet, which you needed to be because when shit bullshit about you play, uh, and if you had too many friends, uh, basically the game lagged like hell. And Ubisoft's yeah. excuse was, well, it appears that you have too many friends, remove some. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sony, actually that was Ubisoft's excuse for why their PS4 Tetris ran so horribly. It sounds okay. like that one time, it sounds like the old days of the Xbox One where like, like, if you don't like, if you don't, if you don't want to use, like, Xbox Play Music games, yeah. Yeah, 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 that is PS. Ah, uh, the old days of the Xbox One. I want to say, those days had their charm. They just watching I Microsoft. Say, well, I mean, I say, I Xbox know, is going, going to be the next water cooler. Are you in the ass? I don't think that's a good thing. No, 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 no. Anyway, I'm not saying that was good. Game that's going on on screen. Uh, yeah, um, uh, that ball. Pressing button. You know, you know one thing that I hate about. Well, you know one thing that I hate about that joke that um, June. Quincy made about them. Oh, just this robot. Oh, nice kitty. Nice kitty. Okay, the writers of this game don't know how this joke works. It only is funny if he actually is a, a, a feline. Like, what it's is a it robot. It's supposed not a to cat. Do a it doesn't even like resemble a cat. It looks more like a robotic like, it's squid. Like, it's, like, it, it, it's a classic a giant cartoon. Enemy crab. This, is, this is a classic joke you see in cartoons where there's, for example, there's a tiger mad about to eat the character and the character always goes oh nice kitty good kitty you know it, it makes sense because you know feline part of the feline family but no th it's a robot that joke makes no sense here you're killing the joke mate yeah thank you um so yeah more jumping on rails so yeah i guess going back to the topic of the oh patch. by the way some people reported that in the patch the characters don't say anymore about boost pads and bounce pads that often yeah, uh, I've heard that ruined. too. But Another, yeah. sweet one more, silence. One more, oh, in that case, one more reason why I'm not going to get the patch, because uh, I kind of get a guilty, uh, sick pleasure out of listening <laughs> to those questions. <laughs> well, you know what, Pedro? It's almost astonishing. By them making the game a better game, it's apparently making it a turnoff for you. Uh, no, 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 the thing is, the problem is that the things that they fixed are just things that just prevent me from breaking the game and uh, so and, 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 and making and making fun of it and making fun of it and while and seeing how many ways I can break it is the most the best part about this game ah now so basically you're now, saying that I get the game it got better, the game is technically better but it's also more boring as a result that feel when you cannot hear it anymore to use ramps as ramps. Well, I think yeah, I get like what you're the, saying. It's sort of like if they fix Sonic 06. Yeah, they, patch. Fix, they, fix, they fix the bug fixes, but the, the game is still not good at all. It's still well, boring. It kinda, it's still... Eh, Rise of Lyric Deal still does have some qualities, but yeah, it does sort of seem like a generic uh, tie-in platformer, unfortunately, to some regards. Hey, at least it doesn't have any Dusty Desert Ball puzzle, and True. I'm okay with that. Amy's I still find this game, like for example, to give you an idea, Sony, it, it, during parts of this playthrough, I fell through the floor just like in Sonic 06. See, oh, I, I, rub it in! No, no, no. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, no. You kind of did that, it sure anyway, is. Anyway, I, I, I was about to say. I, I, I was not going to talk about that, she right? I'm, 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 I'm about to move okay. on. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't mind her, Sony. It, it, it's, um, it's a long story. But the thing is, yeah. um, I find this game to be just as bad as Sonic 06. Now, let me to explain. It, there are some things about this game that are better than Sonic 06. And there are also yeah. things that 06 does better than this game. 
So it, it, it kind of evens out for me. You know, there are things about this game that are better. There are things about Sonic Adventure that are better. It kind of evens out for me. Both of them are on the same level of size. I have to say that. Yeah. I have to say that since the. I have to say that since the patch, I'll admit this game is still better than 06 objectively because, I mean, yes, it may be somewhat boring now because of the patch, but now, but now it has a lot more things actually going for it. I mean, I go, it actually runs more stably, and and also furthermore, I mean, I go, 06 never actually got this sort of actual adherence. There's also the fact that for all its problems, Sonic Force is at the very least a Sonic game, which this isn't. Well, Pedro, at least, this is a all, but, but here's the thing. At least they don't try to make a romantic subplot with a human again. No, I, I'm not talking about yeah. the subplot. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, like, I mean, like, I guess Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, it, well, it well, doesn't well, feel well, like a Sonic game, but like, I feel like 06 ha is, has more things wrong with it than just gameplay. I agree. All right, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, the most pointless cutscene yeah, in the entire Sonic. game. I have no idea Look what the hell that. this cutscene serves. Sonomy shipping. No, uh, no. Sonomy, Sonomy. Look at those textures, Don't you deny it. Look at those textures. Look at those textures, son. Don't they make you nostalgic for the PS2 era? This is boring. Sonomy oh, shipping. Sonomy shipping. shipping. Sonomy shipping. Sonomy. That's Sonomy. So That's Sonomy. Yeah. That's Sonomy right there. Sonomy. Sonomy confirmed for life. Why is she even asking for a moment to soak in? Why? Okay, Why does she need this moment so bad? Like, this came because out of Sonomy. What is the and point Sonomy of it? Those are the three delays. Somebody wants a fight. <laughs> I should know. Anyway, oh, finally, the tornado uh, gun. See, see, okay, 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 let's ignore, okay, Sonny, for the sake of discussing now, because uh, for me, and the most important thing about the game is, is, is the gameplay. It, I, I, I know. I know. So, let, so let's talk about the gameplay of both games and ignore the story first. See, the thing is, like, for example, like, like some call me Johnny always said, in, in, always said in his review and even in his uh, SGB likes to play play. Yeah. Like, um, the, the, I still find the Sonic Wait, levels in Sonic 06 way more fun than any of the levels in, in Rise of Lyric, for example. Not only because they actually feel like a, they don't actually feel like a pretty Sonic game, but for example, let's take uh, Radical Train. Radical Train, if you are, if you're used to the control, to the stiff controls like I am, it's a it's a mildly enjoyable stage. But uh, yeah, that's the problem. Why need? Why do you need? Why do you need to be used to the controls? Why can't it just work just fine? Well, yeah, he does have well, a point I'm, there. The thing. I mean, for, for, for me, for me, and, and also there's the thing about like, how like Sonic Six tries to put in too many uh, multiple characters or gameplay styles. Like, for me, for me, it's like this. See, this game has better controls, but Sonic Six has better level design. And. and... The uh, well, for Sonic, for, 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 the, for the early stages of Sonic, Park, yeah, it, it, yeah, it has good level design, but like for the most part, so Rise of Galaxy's levels, uh, I feel, at least feel accustomed to like how just the more slower paced and combat heavy. Agree. Yeah, but gameplay. I have to agree with Pedro on this one. I mean, these levels are just repetitive. And yeah. yeah the, 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 the levels in Sonic. Stages are copied and pasted with yeah, different. Yeah. Exactly. Environment theme. True. I guess in Sonic 06 they did actually change them somewhat, except for the times when they would literally copy over levels. Seriously, I'm still sore yeah. about Crisis City. Hey, we can bounce off these the thing is, like, with, with the, the, the levels in Sonic, like, for example, right now we're doing, I'm guessing, platforming. The, this plat, like, for example, there's a platforming section in Sonic's Crisis, Crisis City. You know, the one where you're inside a tornado. That part was. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> was kind of fun, at least for me. That, uh, yeah, yeah, you're jumping on, on some, some nice 3D platforming. It works. It, uh, it was a nice moment in that, in that, in that level. I mean, yeah, the rest <laughs> of the level so was It's so funny bullshit. how everything gives a punching sound effect as you got hit by a spiked show. Yeah. Like, for me, it's like, the love scenes like the lyric are nothing but incredibly boring and basic platforming. Come by and everything else is just beating mooks with the most boring and repetitive comments as I'm ever put in a video game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sony Pedro does have a point. I mean, I'd say that yeah. the best, I'd say that the best yeah. level design it always the maybe. Levels in Sonic 06. The levels in Sonic, like, levels in Sonic 06. Uh, like for example, uh, Sonic's Desert uh, Ruins, or was it the Dusty Desert? Desert. Dusty, Dusty Desert. Desert. Dusty Desert. Yeah. Sonic's Dusty Desert is surprisingly open, and there's a lot of paths that, uh, a lot of paths yeah. that you can use to get. Yeah. 
Don't and remind me about Sonic's nothing. Dusty Desert. Those paths can be awfully buggy, as we saw in the play true, of our true, commentary. True, true, but, true, true. But, but, the, but I still find the levels more interesting to, to travel for than the, these. These levels are just boring and shallow. You know, Pedro, no. I, don't, I don't really think there's much point in comparing this to Sonic 06, because, well, they're not even really the same genre when you think about it. Yeah, because, yeah, like, yeah. There's also that. There's, 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 in fact, that actually goes back into probably what is my most main argument. At the very least, Sonic 06 feels like a Sonic game. This doesn't well, feel like a Sonic. This one feels like they like well, him. This is false advertising. Well, pa well, well Pedro, from the start. <laughs> Pedro, actually, <laughs> actually, Pedro. Sonic, yeah. Sonic actually. Uh, that's the difference. <clears throat> Sonic, like, actually, like, I'm being like, actually, I'm being serious here. Um. They actually did sort of tell us in the beginning that this was going to be way different from a Sonic game. I mean, heck, it's a spin-off series some, and complete... I refer to some Call Me Johnny's review. Uh, if, you, if, I'm, if I'm playing a platformer with, with, with a Sonic platformer without speed, then what's the point of it being a Sonic platformer? Who said it was a Who said it was going to be a traditional Sonic platformer, though? Nobody no, said no, that. No, we're not saying. We're not saying. We're just saying that if there's no speed involved, why are the Sonic characters in? There is speed in it. It's just. Uh, it's just not the um, primary problem, focus. You see, you see, my problem is that this should have been a new IP. Why, st why slap Sonic onto this? Well, yes, that's a problem, but that doesn't really, but that doesn't mean that they lie to like, you. I mean, they they like do. Even, even, even Sonic Chronicles, even Sonic Chronicles, for as bad as that game was, and it's a spinoff. What? It's whoa, 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 whoa! Oh no, 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 no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you're gonna call out Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, no way are you letting Sonic Chronicles get off the hook for lack of speed. I'm not, I'm not saying Sonic. I'm not. I'm not saying Sonic Chronicles is, is better than this. It's, it's worse. I'm just saying. That Sonic Chronicles did try to incorporate some speed elements. I'm so, and so did level. this game. Oh, no, no, no. It's so did RPG. this game. Hey, how do you put speed in an RPG? Pedro, 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 Pedro. This game put in just as much, if not more, speed than Sonic Chronicles. I'm sorry. No way are you giving Sonic Chronicles a one over for implementing speed when this fine, game let me pick a better example. Fine, fine, let me I pick up that example. How that works. Sonic R was a spin off. And it's based on speed. Sonic R was a uh, racing game. That's the racing game. That's well, yeah. well, maybe in that case, the only spin-offs that sh they should be made of Sonic is racing games, because let's face it, those are the only good Sonic spin-offs. No, no, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight. Uh, that was actually implemented okay. speed with the controls as well. Please, this makes oh, so much of me. Actually, that's a, that's a better idea. Yeah, sure. Sonic and the Black Knight and Sonic and the Secret Rings. Those are spin-offs, and they still had speed involved. Um, yeah. Now that's a, that's a better system. example. But still, this doesn't go to why you're comparing Sonic 06 to Sonic uh, and the from the uh, and, uh, and, and Sonic Boom: The Rise of Lyric. It makes so much of sense as me playing a saxophone. And, the, and that is why it's so good to be reminded that you're not caring about Sonic at all. <laughs> Who doesn't care about Sonic? Me? I, 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 I still stand by the fact that I think this game should have been a new IP. Yeah, there's no oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. It should have been a new IP. Why well, agree? Nobody does. Been... Do, you know, not, not even. Uh, we don't even understand ourselves. So. Yeah. What? We don't even understand what. Nobody don't understand, understand each other. Nobody understands Sonic fans, even Sonic fans themselves. Well, what I'm I don't even. Anyway, yeah, that is kind of true. True. It is. Anyway, we're we're yeah we're we're yeah. we're just so split on everything. This level, this level is it's just sort of Sega's so fault for that. Boring. Hey, I'd rather be bored than actually be than rage. Anchors away, bitch. Well, that, that goes, that goes. <laughs> you know, Tio, your delivery on that was actually better. No, honestly, I'd rather be angry than bored, because at least when I'm angry, I'm feeling something. I play a video game to have fun. If I'm no, not no, having no, fun, no, what the fuck? But if I'm not having fun either way, again. I'd rather... I if I have to play either 06 or Boom, I'd rather take the game that makes me feel some emotion than the game that doesn't make me feel a damn thing. So, which one you take then, Shiroi? Is that Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, or is that Sonic 06? 06 is the one that makes me angry. Uh, Boom is the one that's boring. 
See, for me, see the biggest Sony, like the, the whole rather be this over this. That's, that, that goes into a personal thing because it yeah. depends on the depends on the person. Some people prefer to be mad, some people prefer to be bored. Like for example, for me with movies, for example, I prefer to be bored during movies because at least I can sleep it off. Wait, you know? <laughs> hey, I thought you said at some point in your life that you actually Is prefer, you, you know, something that's stupid as opposed to being bored, though. Uh, that's that's in video games, Joe. That's pretty stupid. And that's only if the gaming question is actually stupid. What about I Thursday, like that, though? I, I thought I like you that said that was boring. I like, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Stuff. It's yeah, just it's the way cool. I like it. Whatever. Anyway. You just made a Metal Harbor reference? Yes. Indeed I did. In fact, I might even play it on my saxophone at some point. The, 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 big, the, the, the big problem, of course, I, I've gone into this, but I'm not going to go here. The, the big problem, of course, is that, like, of course, this is, of course, my view on things, of course. I'm, I'm pretty sure some people here will disagree with me, but... Uh, I'm very disagree. philosophical it's with this part of it's, it's an incredibly dark time. For, to be a Sonic fan because uh, honestly nah, no nah, no nah, 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 nah. I don't really yeah. see it that way no for me for me it's like this my problem job is that nobody seems to know how to make a great Sonic game anymore well and come on there was generations in color never happened then what about no, Sonic generations no, but that's in color but that's the thing but that's the thing um Sony. Sonic Generations was great because Sega, uh, Sonic Team played it safe. Uh, and Sonic Color. What about Sonic problem, Colors? That was problem, great. Too. The problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the problem is that they can't just rely on the boost formula forever. Yeah, and I know. The, oh, I the know problem that. Is, the, the problem is that the Sonic Team is like, like for example, the problem is that unlike EAD Tokyo, you know, the guys who make the, the Mario Galaxy games, unlike EAD, the 3D Mario games it's in general, neat. but but uh, unlike EAD Tokyo, ah. Sonic Team doesn't have enough talented developers Pedro, to, you know, I think the problem can be summed up in four letters S E G and A Exactly 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 I was about to get into the If Sonic the Team can get free of Sega, Sega then Sega, maybe Sega, I, I, Sega in general doesn't the company Sega the company doesn't even care at this point it's Sega a, it's constantly a brand rushes that they're going to note off for money so See, this is why I think, Pedro, that someone does know how to make a good Sonic game. The problem is that Sega keeps rushing them for a Christmas release. Mm -hmm. If Sega can mm -hmm. maybe like just... They are like a teacher. Like, they say, you know, you have to do it this way, this way, and this way. Yeah, that's one thing Instead I don't like about... Instead of finding your own method to make something great, because, I mean, Sonic Team can do their stuff, but... Yeah, I they've mean... They've got this annoying hiss head. Telling them what to do. Yeah. And also, there, and also, and also, there's the habit of Sonic Team to like, to like have to have some sort of unnecessary gimmick to prolong the gameplay. The problem is that if Sonic Team already, if, if Sonic Team cannot make a great game unless they they're given three years to do so, I mean, the problem is that the industry doesn't stop. You know, they, they, they have to. They have to get if they have to get better developers. They're not a, a, able well, Pedro, to make a game. Well, Pedro, 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 let's be fair. Do you, don't you know how long it takes the Mario Galaxy team to make their games? I mean, heck, there's only two Mario Galaxy made... games in the span of, like, a whole gen. I mean, you can't imagine that it took them really a short. Not really. Mar not, not really. Ma Mario Galaxy 2 was made over a year. Um, oh, but that was because it recycled a lot of assets. So. Yeah. Of course. I hate to say it, Pedro, but Mario Galaxy 2 sort of recycled a lot. It's like, well, with Sonic, Sonic does it... Sonic's it's a not game really... in a... In a it's, it's, well, then maybe Sonic Team should start it's recycling for them, because... Series. Why would you make a completely <laughs> not, different not, not mention, Mario not, Galaxy not, game? Not to mention, yeah. it doesn't, not to mention it doesn't help the fact that Sonic Team is completely ADD and they can't pick on a game style, a gameplay Pedro, style and stick with it. Pedro, again, I rescind that I think a lot of the problems that Sonic Team does sort of has to do with Sega's um, tutelage and, you know, their demands I'll just say, and whatnot. I'll, 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 the, the, unlike the you yourself I'll, said, I'll, Pedro, I'll, that the boost formula would have gotten stale. So don't you think they sort of actually have a legit reason to actually have changed the gameplay? Right, I mean, you yourself said that the together. boost formula can't sure, last sure. forever. The problem, yeah, the problem is that the, yeah, the boost formula, of course, can last forever, but it should last more than just free games. Oh, I agree, I problem. agree. But I, I'm, I'm thinking, though, especially with a lot of the 